Modern Nomads is a weekly program about Kazakh compatriots who try to save Kazakh traditions for the current and next generations and for those who are interested in the culture and history of ancient Kazakh nomads. Watch us every week on Kazakh TV. High mountains prop up the sky, white turning clouds are floating. When you went down from the hill you can see mountains, woods and rivers with a lake as from the mirror. The host of the mottled sky and vast steppe is an eagle. It molts on this mountain and lives in these heights. This is a motherland for both birds and people called Kazakhstan. <laughs> Grandfather, what kind of golden eagles are there? There are plenty of types of eagles, my dear. We keep a hunting golden eagle. The hunting golden eagle is brave. It doesn't hunt for any prey. It's mighty and strong. The golden eagle living in the mountainous areas are big, powerful, bold and large. A lowland golden eagle has a small body to easily rise and fly up. Also, such hunting golden eagles are in our region in places like Kigin and Narinkol. These are the golden eagles inhabiting the area of Kogali in Satili. Golden eagles of Tikili and Kapal are strong. Also, there is an imperial eagle in Altai. The Altai imperial eagle is considered to be the strongest one. Now go and drive in the horses. Please run and drive them in. The son of the mountain grows up looking at it. The golden eagle is a free bird of the mountain. The old man brings up his grandson from his childhood, like a hunting bird bringing up its nestling. Before my grandson comes back, I'll tell you one more story. The Kazakhs of Mongolia engage in falconry. For example, only 100,000 Kazakhs live in Mongolia. They have 400 to 500 golden eagles. Among those, there are very experienced falconers who are good at taming golden eagles. Recently, they've started organizing contests of falconers in Kansonar, Altai and China. There are professional falconers there as well. There are professional falconers among those who have moved to Kazakhstan. Now they engage in falconry. This is Bayolke in Mongolia. A new day starts with a golden eagle scream and everybody comes to life. This is a Kazakh tradition. Burkit Bay was born in Bayolke. He has tamed golden eagles and hunted since childhood. Falconry is an ancient art that takes a big place in the Kazakh life. Falconry was mostly done by the Kazakh itinerant singing poets, rulers Hans and warriors Batirs. Generally speaking, they used hunting skills of golden eagles as a profession. They hunted for animals and they sold animal skins. There are professional peculiarities too. That is why the Kazakhs keep special golden eagles. Among those, they keep the hunting bird. The specific features of the hunting birds depend on the place it was born and grew up. 
For example, I have a tradition not to sell a hunting bird of Satali, even if you offer a girl. This is a brown minion of Tikili. There are various famous breeds of an imperial eagle of Altai. There was a time when people used to specially come from far to get this imperial eagle's breed to use them professionally. Falconry is our grandparents' custom and tradition of the steppe. Today, the old man has put off the hunting bird's eye cap and taken it to the mountains. You have to bring the free bird here to cheer it up. The famous falconers in the Kazakh history are Zhal Ayir Shora and Tinei. Tinei had a well-known hunting bird, Sari Si. Probably his story is in the cartoons released recently, as the heritage developed with the Kazakhs. In ancient times, the creator decided to appoint the king of birds. All birds hoping to become the king gathered in the top of the poplar, which propped up the six layers. They had been looking forward to that moment, but the birds couldn't stand the heat and the piercing sunlight and fell down from the tree. Only the golden eagle was sitting stock still, staring at the sun, so it got the creator's gift and turned into the sky favorite. It's not interesting to keep a golden eagle. You have to train it, tame, and put it into hunting because it's a steppe savage. It loves flying, which is why you have to constantly put it into hunting. Falconry isn't just for fun and taking photos and keeping it inside, which doesn't relate to falconry. It's a pity for the golden eagle. Today it's time to train these birds and horses and go on the first far collective hunting, Salburin. It's time we did it. This bird's thighs, four fingers, it's glaring and looking forward to hunting. So I decided to give it to my son and take it on Salburin. One more companion of a young man is his hound. It's a pure breed. It's a fast dog with a different appearance. It competes with a galloping horse and flying bird. There's a legend, the distant background of the hound originates from the hunting bird. According to the Kazakh traditional legend, a bird laid two eggs. A hound hatched from one egg, a vulture hatched from the other. The vulture is the highest flying bird with the strongest wings. That is why they call this hound the vulture hound. So they call the fastest and strongest hounds the vulture hound. Generally, the hound is an integral part of the Kazakh life. They say in the time of hunger, a hound fed the whole village provided with hairs and rows, provided people with food. They say one of the seven precious heritages is the hound. Moreover, the hound is the strongest companion of a young man. The young man's companions are the hound, hunting bird, rifle, a good wife, and stallion. Hunting is a profession handed down from ancestors to descendants. Burkit Bai's son, Jasulan, continues his father's business. He has puppets of the precious breed of the hound on his hands. Na 
Black puppet near us is a hound gip. I keep it to increase the quantity of this hound breed. Its peculiarity is that it has got all necessary strong features. It's got a short back, its tail and constitution are perfect. The black puppet's ears aren't as long as this puppet's ears. This puppet's ear fringing is big like this. The black puppet's ears are shorter. This is the only drawback it has got. It's a breed of the fast hound. It attacked a local wolf. It's breed of a famous hound here. Hunters think the hound has to be beautiful. A flawless hound is normally fast. Its backbone is pointed. Its ears are pointed. Its tail and back are short. The dog with a broad rump is fast. Its legs are long and tendinous. Broad-chested dogs are usually brave. Hunters who breed hounds look for these qualities. Basically, in hunting, there is no other dog as the hound. In this respect, it's similar to the golden eagle. If you stand far and shout to the dog, animals will run away. The hound throws up, it looks at the man. In that case, we show the way with our hands or hat, timak. The hound learns by practicing hunting more and more. Also, if you go and come across an animal, you slightly point at it. So the hound attacks it itself. I don't let it go far from me, it goes near me. It learns depending on taming. You enjoy watching from far how it chases the prey. A trained hound looks at you if it throws up. In that case, I show it the way with my hand. The hound is not like the watchdog protecting a pen. It's gentle but smart breed. It doesn't bite people, but if it protects its host, it's the most loyal companion. It has a child's temper pampered and cute. You have to breed the hound from the puppet time. It will be a good companion. When you feed it, you mustn't pamper it much and keep it in warmth. I look after it and feed it well. If you pamper it a lot, it will be spoiled. I don't pamper it too much. You can put it into hunting when it's nine years old. Though it's weak for fighting with dogs, it's really interested in hunting. They can hunt either for a wolf or fox. A pampered dog can't catch a wolf. These hounds can catch the wolf. Moreover, they are agile. They don't let them bite themselves. It chases an animal around a lot, and when the animal is tired, it gets it by the throat. If you tame them properly, they will have a brave breed. Young men of the mountains are all hunters. They revive the Kazakh steppe traditions. Everyone has two or three fast hounds. They hunt for foxes and wolves. Their business is to preserve the Kazakh ancient hunting tradition. Constantly, a purpose of a hunter is not only hunting or to have fun, as the main purpose is a dog breeding and continue the tradition of the nomad people. It is a task of sons in this region, the tradition of nomad people to keep the rules of the steppe.